In this demo, we're going to take a look at how to quickly create an assembly or a sub-panel in CAM 350. The tool that most people use to do this is called the Fast Array Module. Uh, it can be accessed through Utilities, Panelization, Panel Editor. Once we're in here, we have a, some tabs that we can click on to create our panel. We start off by entering a panel size. Start off with, by, uh, with an 11 by 11 panel, and we might put a uh, half inch all the way around this. Click OK, go to Create, and it shows us how many it can fit within those parameters that we've done. As a matter of fact, we can see that uh, uh, there's slightly more copies available than the actual boards there are, so that means that we can reduce this panel size. So we'll go ahead and do that. And you know what? Uh, since we do have fingers, we probably want those to the edge of the panel. So why don't we take the top and the bottom to zero. So now the fingers, at least in this case, are at the edge. And we'll flip the second design so that the fingers are on the edge with it as well. So we hit Create. Let's turn on the circuit images so that you can kind of see what the actual circuits look like. And then we're just going to simply go to Edit Flip. Now uh, we're going to choose which one we want to flip and which axis we want to flip it in. And it simply flips it over so now that our fingers are pointing upward. And that's how you can quickly create a sub panel in CAM 350. If I need to export this now, I just go to Export Panel, Gerber Data, or ODB, whatever, uh, or even DXF. Some people will take this into a mechanical CAD tool and actually used it to create their documentation at this point. But uh, if I, all I want to do is export my Gerber data, I just go to Export Gerber Data, choose which layers I want to export, and go ahead and write them out as a panel. So again, this is how you would do a sub-panel or assembly panel in CAM 350.